I'm holding it. <laughs> Let's talk about strengthening your mind. Okay, so the mind is a muscle. Mm -hmm. The same way. Let's go for it. Okay. And the same way we go to the gym, strengthen our calves, our triceps, we should be working on strengthening our mind. And the best way to do that as a runner is to really put yourself in situations that are mentally challenging so for instance like instead of going and doing your long run outside where you can have distractions and beautiful sights you're gonna do this run on a treadmill Whew. it's gonna be hard and you're gonna want to stop because you're like i'm not running 10 miles on this machine but you're not gonna stop every single time that you're denying your mind you know what it wants what it thinks it wants which is to stop to take care of a rest you are strengthening the muscle at the moment you're allowing it to become stronger and to be comfortable with challenges with discomfort and easiness and when you get with that kind of mental strength to race day oh my god <laughs> girl you're gonna be fine i always say you can apply this like mental toughness to anything in your life absolutely and that's what i love about running yeah. and training and that's why i say running has changed my life is because every single thing i have received from training i have been able to apply it to my life discipline or waking up really early or being able to handle discomfort or i don't know so many things like the list is endless and like my gratitude for running knows no bounds like it's just the best thing in the world, honestly. I am determined to actually shoot this updated vlog day in my life as a creative with ADHD in Mexico City. Long title, I know. Um, and I literally forgot my camera at home. So we're just going to do this on, our, on, on my phone because the most important thing is that it gets done. Um, went for a great run this morning with my friend Benedict. And now I'm headed to a cafe to co-work for a couple of hours. I have a new client, which I'll talk about more later, and just a lot of work that I need to get done. Monday, Tuesday, I'm kind of like warming up to the week. Today's Wednesday. It's like go time for me. This is my probably my most productive day today and Thursday. And so yeah, I'm excited to go to this cute cafe. It's called Marcel. I think I'll get the name when I go in. Um, and it's really, really adorable, best pastries. Um, I'm not even that much of a coffee drinker, but the coffee is good, and it's just cute. I'm going to co-work with my friend Brenda, um, and we go get into this. We're going to get into this to-do list and smash some tasks. Also, I just don't ever think I will get over my walks in this city. It's just so beautiful. All the trees, the colors, the art, the little shops. I love it. Like, leaving my apartment instantly improves my mood. I don't know if there's anything more realistic <laughs> in an ADHD creative vlog than starting a vlog a week ago, okay? Getting too distracted slash overwhelmed slash just not stimulated enough to finish it and then picking it back up mid-run. Um, I'm gonna touch base with you when I'm back inside because I actually have to edit this and um, I wanna wrap it up and put it out. All right, I'm finally back at my computer if I'm being honest. I picked, up, I picked up my phone mid-run to continue the vlog yesterday. This is a complete next day, but you know what? This is what works for me. And let me know if this style of vlogging works for you. It's gonna be a day in my life. It's turned into a day in a week-ish vlog, but I like it. Um, and it's like an accurate depiction of the way that I work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
go with this instead of trying to fit into into a creator box that's already been formed all right but um now i'm back at my computer i need to edit videos i need to um do some work for my clients on the side i picked up some work on the side uh the past couple of months i've been working with one client and this one i just recently picked up it's a ugc client which i'm really excited about but before i get into editing today's video i want to talk to you about today's sponsor epidemic sound who i'm so grateful to be working with again listen you see how i've been moving the past couple of days i need at least one step of my creative process to be easy and epidemic sound makes finding music really really easy epidemic sound is a restriction free music service with over 35,000 professionally produced tracks and over 90,000 sound effects you got options i love that they curate a playlist based on things that i've already downloaded making this process super easy and i also love that i can search based on theme mood um genre country it's like and I'm never disappointed by all of the options and they're constantly adding new music. I'm sure you've already heard of them, but if you haven't, I highly, highly recommend giving them a shot. You can click the link in my description box and use the code MISAKO50 for 50% off your first two months. Okay, now I'm gonna actually get into editing so that I can get to the music selection process, but I'm gonna show you a couple more things that I got into this week before I end the vlog. This part of my life is about getting comfortable with my creative process, about the way that I work, the pace that I work, and not getting so caught up in what everyone else is doing. I'm actively trying to become more confident in what I put out into the world and trusting that that's enough. So that's where I'm at right now. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you're getting comfortable with your creative process and whatever it is that you do. Um, and thank you for showing up for me. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for trusting me and, and as always, thank you for being here.